Rips, it's good to have you back at the helm over the last two games. We can't keep you away, can we? Well, I've enjoyed it. It's been, um, you know, I've enjoyed the opportunity to come back into this environment. Uh, I've enjoyed what I've been doing, my stew, but obviously when you come into the second team, you have got academy players um, that I've been working with. We have got, I mean, senior players like Nathan Buck and Safe Saib, who I obviously was working with last year. So it's been nice, nice balance. I thought it was a really cracking game of cricket as well, which is probably the most important thing. Um, and there's a lot of positives to come out of it. We'll come back today briefly, but I want to just touch on yesterday. It was a little bit of a tougher game for the second eleven yesterday. How much do those players learn from games like that? Well, good. Certainly, we talked about the power play, and we came out and immediately had a better power play. So that was one good thing. We talked about extras yesterday, and we had a better extras uh, column today. So two things that we turned around instantly, which was great. But they, yeah, they were a very strong side yesterday. A lot of experience, a lot of guys that probably helped them win that 50 over comp last year. Um, and we were just a bit short and it, was, it got one-sided when they get that many and then we fall behind, you know, you, you can have those games. But uh, I'm really pleased how we did turn around the power plays from yesterday to today and the extra so that was positive. Was that something you spoke about, about specifically making a change to today? Because it looked like a bit of a different side. No, it was, it was. And, but obviously not everyone played both games, so we, it was a mix and match, but we shared what we talked about yesterday with the guys today. And we cranked up, you know, we were the sport with our extras column. We gave three hits away yesterday. We had no free hits today. They said we were 70 in the power play where we were 30 odd yesterday. So that's instant reward. Uh, and the lads, you know, the power play was very, very good. Exceptional cricket shots, no real great risk, but just a bit more positivity. And, uh, and we bowled a lot better in the power play too. And obviously the result is brilliant, but it's been a great atmosphere here. It's been, it's been, been unbe absolutely unbelievable. You know, I thought a game against Grenada, the county ground, would be one man and his dog. Um, but it's been very atmospheric. This, the whole tier here was full. It's been, it's been a really good day. And credit the club for not just putting the game on, but putting an event on, which is what it's turned out to be. And there's quite a lot of players that supporters may not recognise from yesterday and today in the squads and a few new names. Is there any insight to how much talent is in there? Anyone that you can pick out? Well, well I thought, I saw Adi Sharma play particularly well last week uh, for the Midlands under-17s. He made a match winning 100. He's a nice, very nice player. Um, we've obviously seen George Weldon come in and, and, and play well in this game. You know, His wickets were important in this fixture and bowled with a bit of pace. But there's a whole glut of them, you know, it's just... The, the key, the next step is, I was thinking about David Willey with this, because David Willey was a good cricketer, he batted, he bowled, he was a competitive, he great fielder, but was he destined to be definitely be a first class player? And, it, you know, I wasn't sure at 15, 16, but he, when he got to this level, he just took a step forward rather than taking a step back. And I think that's the next, the next thing for these lads is to, when they're in this situation, you know, can they flourish and grow? And they only know by giving them an opportunity. So that's what we do.